Hi friends, for private chats, audio and video calls, most of us use WhatsApp. There are many other messengers, but WhatsApp is the most popular one. Recently, I came across a private messenger called Signal. In this messenger, the messages are encrypted and they claim that it is more secure and safe for private and confidential communications. This messenger is more or less like WhatsApp only, but has some extra interesting features. This messenger is available for Android, iOS and desktop. Let's explore more about this messenger in this video. Since I have an Android phone, I will be discussing about Signal on Android and on Windows platform. Before this, I request you to subscribe our channel A1 Help if you have not yet subscribed. Also click on bell icon for notifications of our forthcoming videos. We will be regularly uploading useful videos of common interest. To install Signal on our Android phone, let's go to Google Play Store. Let's search for Signal Private Messenger. Let's install this. To best of my knowledge, unlike WhatsApp, Signal does not record metadata of messages that is the phone numbers of our contacts, time of messages, etc. Hence, Signal is safe compared to WhatsApp. If you want to share any important and secure information, Signal is better compared to WhatsApp. Since this is a new app, as usual, there must be some bugs which will be fixed in due course. Here, let's open Signal Messenger. Signal is seeking permission to access our contacts, media, etc. Let's tap on continue to proceed further. It will keep asking permissions during first use. Let's keep allowing. Here let's fill our phone number. Now let's tap on register. Since the phone number I have provided for registration is in this phone, verification will be completed automatically. Let's provide a profile name which can be changed later on if needed. Now let's tap on finish to complete the installation. To start sending messages, let's tap on this pencil symbol. Signal will scan our contact list and provide us the list of our contacts along with their names and phone numbers who are already using Signal Messenger. Now we can tap on any contact and start chatting. Similar to WhatsApp, through these three dots, we can access more options and features. Through option Invite Friends, we can invite our contacts to Signal by providing them link to Signal Messenger. Let's have a quick glance on settings. In Signal, Settings are more or less like WhatsApp. Here there is a new feature delete old messages. Using this we can set our messenger such that older chat messages will be deleted automatically. Once we tap on this option, conversation length limit option will be enabled. Here we can set the limit of messages such that messages older than this limit will be deleted automatically. This is very helpful when we have long chats with someone and there is no need to keep old chat history. Let's set this limit to 5 for trial. By setting this limit, except recent 5 messages, all old messages will be deleted in our future chats. However, this setting will have no impact on earlier messages. In case we also want to delete earlier messages, then we have to take help of trim all conversation now option. These options are very useful for keeping our chat history tidy. This option is not available in WhatsApp at the time of uploading this video. We can see that except latest 5 messages, all old messages are getting deleted automatically. Backup option is available here. Like WhatsApp, here also we can create groups and chat in groups. However, broadcast list option is not available right now. 
maybe they will introduce this in near future there is a very interesting feature in signal called disappearing messages using this messages once read will disappear from both senders and receivers chart after a set amount of time this set amount of time can be set as per our choice the set time can vary from 5 seconds to 1 week now let's set this time limit to 5 seconds for trial whatever messages i will send it will be deleted from receivers as well as my device 5 seconds after the receiver view the message in the same way whatever message i receive it will be deleted from both mine and sender's device 5 seconds after i view the message this time limit can be set by any one of us signal uses the last setting and will overwrite all earlier settings on the top of chat box under the stopwatch symbol we can view the latest set time any one of the two can update the set time by tapping on the stopwatch in case we want to disable this option we can set the time limit of disappearing messages to off in case if we don't want to keep any trace of our charts we can use this feature which will automatically delete our charts from both senders and receivers device after the set amount of time and we need not have to delete the charts manually in whatsapp we can delete the charts but only from our device and not from receivers device we have an option in whatsapp to recall messages up to 1 hour but then we are not sure whether the receiver has read the message or not we can set different set time limit for charts with different contacts we can also set different colors for different contacts to easily locate them we can use different colors for different group of our contacts like one color for our family members other color for friends other for colleagues etc like whatsapp we can also share audio file contacts location etc using signal messenger camera can be opened from here microphone is here like whatsapp we can also make voice calls video call option is also available here now let's install signal messenger on desktop before we install signal on desktop it is necessary to install signal on our mobile since signal on desktop has to be linked with signal on mobile as signal can only work after registering our mobile number to install signal on desktop let's go to their website signal.org let's click on desktop select your operating system i will go for windows the file is downloading the file size is big and will take some time let's meet after the download is over to install signal let's open it and click on run now we have to link signal desktop to signal android for this let's open signal on our android let's go to settings let's tap on linked devices now let's tap on plus symbol let's hold the phone in front of the desktop screen to scan qr code once the scan is successful both messengers will be linked now desktop and android signal messengers are getting synchronized synchronization is over and we can use the desktop messenger to communicate with our contacts now our charts and calls on both desktop and mobile signal are in sync we can chat either from mobile or desktop as per our convenience typing on desktop messenger is more convenient especially during long chats so i prefer desktop signal when i am at home i am sure you will like this new messenger and will give a try if you like this messenger add your friends and communicate with them on signal regarding security features i am not very sure of the details and will explore it and meet you in the next video with all the details let's conclude this video here if you found this video useful please hit the thumbs up icon please also share this video in your social circle it will encourage us to upload more videos if you have not yet subscribed our channel please do subscribe our channel a1 help please also click on bell icon to get notifications of our forthcoming videos for any query or suggestion please leave a message in the comment box let's meet again in next video thanks for watching till end bye